is up? Geeks of the West here. I want to talk about an interesting topic that I have far wondered myself. We saw the Emperor, also known as Palpatine, also known as Darth Sidious, use for us lightning in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. We also saw Count Dooku use Force Lightning in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And Palpatine once again use Force Lightning in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. We hear throughout the saga how Anakin Skywalker, aka Darth Vader, is the chosen one and is prophesied to bring balance to the Force and destroy the dark side of the Force. He is the chosen one. He is the chosen one. He will bring balance. Train him. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy the sin, not join them! Bring balance to the force! You will not stop me. Darth Vader will become more powerful than either of us. Darth Sidious, Master Yoda, Qui-Gon, and others give hints to the power of the young future Darth Vader. It's literally shoved down our throats that Anakin Skywalker has the potential to be the greatest Force user of all time. George Lucas himself confirms that Darth Vader, if properly trained, fully trained, is the most powerful Force user in the Star Wars universe. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. So that begs the question, why can't Lord Vader use Force Lightning? Or why doesn't he? I would, I would like to start off saying, now, that the Expanded Universe is declared non-canon. We don't have any evidence that Darth Vader can't use Force Lightning. However, reasoning behind him not being able to use the Force Lightning is that it would harm him because of his cybernetics. It's generally commonly accepted Force Lightning would harm Darth Vader tremendously. The evidence used to show how damaging Force Lightning against Vader was, was when he saved his son Luke Skywalker at the end of Return of the Jedi when he tosses Palpatine down the shaft. Vader is breathing heavily and is obviously distressed. I buy that. That makes sense. It makes sense that the cybernetics are vulnerable to Force Lightning. However, my counter to that is when a Sith uses Force Lightning, it never harms the user unless it's directed at themselves. It doesn't harm Darth Sidious or Count Dooku when they used it, so it begs the question, if it comes from Darth Vader, how would it hurt himself? Although if deflected, it could be problematic for Darth Vader. Also, there was a quote in the Expanded Universe that says Darth Vader's inability to cast Force Lightning comes from his mechanical arms and legs. To some extent, that makes sense. Fine. However, Darth Vader was able to Force Choke someone who wasn't even in the same room. Lord Vader, the fleet has moved out to light speed and we're preparing to- You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Captain Piet. Yes, my lord. Make ready to land our troops beyond their energy field and deploy the fleet so that nothing gets off the system. You are in command now, Admiral Piet. Thank you, Lord Vader. So you're telling me he could not create forest lightning because he didn't have organic limbs? That bothers me. It should bother you too. However, say that it is true that due to Darth Vader's lack of organic limbs that somehow prohibits his ability to cast forest lightning. In theory, his suit should be able to be weaponized to cast electricity. What makes me bring this up? Well, we see examples throughout some of the films that prove machinery can cast electricity. Not to mention machinery runs on electricity. In theory, all it takes is just one spark of electricity and then telekinesis to direct the lightning. So, does this mean that the infamous Darth Vader can use Force Lightning? Is he capable? I personally think yes. I think it is possible. If he's not able to cast it himself, then I think a weaponization of his suit, combined with the Force telekinesis, 
he has that it is possible for him to use lightning as a dangerous weapon. It's possible Darth Sidious did not want Darth Vader to have lightning capabilities to prevent Darth Vader from overthrowing the Emperor. He didn't allow this capability to prevent betrayal, to keep Darth Vader loyal. It is important to note that Vader, despite being the most powerful, was a puppet to the Emperor's personal power-hungry agenda. You're fulfilling your destiny, Anakin. Become my apprentice. Learn to use the dark side of the Force. A powerful Sith you will become. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Thank you. What has transpired has done so according to my design. However, that is just my opinion on the matter. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to check out more of my videos. Geeks of the West, signing out.